UMC President Alan Wilson says Bruno will be a great ambassador for Utah. On October 3rd, 2015, Utah Motorsports Campus announced that 16-year-old Bruno Carnero would be racing the FIA Chinese Formula 4 Championship in Zhuhai, China. On October 28th, Bruno Carnero arrived in Guangzhou along with his father, his racing engineer Ian Lacey, and UMC's William Lee after a 26-hour trip. With practices to begin the following day and not a second to lose, the group went straight from the airport to the Zhuhai International Circuit in the south coast of China for seat fitting and to meet the UMC crew. Bruno will have very little time to adapt to the MyGale Formula 4 car powered by Geely that he will be driving for the first time in less than 16 hours. Friday morning started with warm temperatures and sunshine, adding even more beauty to the charming and calm shores of Zhuhai City a 30-minute ride to the circuit where Bruno was welcomed by local fans, drivers, and the media. He left the pits for his first laps on a Formula 4 car. Afternoon practices brought improvements to lap times, braking points, and tire management. But understeer was a constant concern. It's probably going to be hard to turn because it's like fairly heavy, anyways. But we'll check it. Okay. Saturday and qualifying, the real deal. Bruno set the fastest lap time on practice one and was in great shape for qualifying. Not being able to match his morning times, he qualified fourth on the grid on his first race in China.
more practice, the more room you oh, have. Yeah, that's that's very very The Chinese media outlets covering the FIA Chinese Formula 4 championship were very kind to Bruno, and his interviews to national television CCTV were viewed by over 800 million people. You got number four in the qualifying. Yes. Are you satisfied? Uh, yes, obviously it's good. We're on the second row of the grid, uh, so we're up ahead, um, very close field. Um, I wish I could, I think I could have done more. I actually played it a little, not too smart on the on the lap where the tires work the best. I stayed behind some cars and that didn't help me. But I think P4 is fine, it's my first race ever, so I'm actually thrilled with it. Um, and yeah, it should be good for the race tomorrow, all bunched up together and close racing. Sunday morning weather was very different than the previous days that averaged 85 degrees and 90% humidity. A crisp wind and temperatures in the 50s changed the track conditions a lot for the pre-final race. And for the race, Bruno was going to have another challenge, a standing start. And he was not a good one, as he lost two positions. He managed to gain one position back after one of the Xiongfeng racing drivers almost lost it at the entrance of the main straight. With one car gone, it was time to catch the sister car, and he was pushing very hard until he pushed too far. And his race was done. After receiving medical attention by local rescue and a visit to the medical center, Bruno was cleared to race the main event while the UMC team worked very hard to put the car in one piece again. The main event received thousands of fans cheering in the grandstands. And there was a lot of doubts if Bruno's car would be ready in time for the start. With only 10 minutes to go, the UMC crew, formed by Ian Lacey, Mr. Yuan, Mr. Tong, and William Lee, were ready to send Bruno to the grid after two hours of non-stop work. <laughs> The whole paddock was cheering for the young 16-year-old from Riverton, Utah, to make it to the starting grid. Starting from the back with increasing pressure building minute by minute, Bruno attacked from lap one. Once he got to fourth place, he shared an intense battle with Chongfeng Racing and Champ Motorsport drivers.
Bruno Cornero set the fastest lap of the race and crossed the finish line in third place, only two tenths of a second behind second place, Yu Rupeng. <laughs> the race and championship were won by Julio Acosta from Colombia. After the press conference and media interviews, drivers and crew headed to the end of the season banquet offered by Narcar, My Time, and Gili Automotive. On early Monday morning, Bruno was flying back home just 96 hours after landing in China. In the back, a beautiful trophy. In the future, a promising career. And in his heart, the gratitude for all the people that worked so hard to make it all happen.